Hello guys, uh, welcome back and this video will be two parts. Uh, first part uh, will be more on the project, on our example or real world project, uh, which we will discuss in more details with all uh, stuff like goal of the project and tech stack and etc. And second part will be about announcements uh, I, I, and by announcements I mean basically I mean uh, what will be next in terms of videos because we will have uh, some kind of tutorials or, or ongoing projects that's why I separated uh, tutorials from uh, development uh, updates or or uh, let's just say uh, dev talks uh, and in this one uh, since first video was 20 minutes long uh, I decided okay maybe uh, we can split it in two parts with uh, with more focus on a, on a topic and as I said this one will be about DevHub and basically DevHub will be an example project uh, with two goals so in terms of technology let's start with the technology in terms of technology it will be a uh, goal language for backend uh, Python for API and communication and JavaScript for for frontend and in frontend uh, I plan to have uh, web and, and mobile and since it's react native it can be also iOS and Android and um, the reason for this kind of technologies is first of course is learning purpose and teaching purpose so we can have more and more examples on, on, on the different uh, programming uh, topics and, uh, and that's the main reason and second is I uh, we will have another video on this topic but uh, my personal goal is to be uh, let's say fluent in these three uh, languages yeah mostly Python and Go language since I am more on backend but also some JavaScript uh, stuff and that's why our example project will be on, on, on top of these languages and in terms of infrastructure we will have um, of course Docker, Docker Compose for containers our example project yeah I don't like calling it example since it will be really deployed and I hope used by users but anyway, we will have deployments through uh, Kubernetes. So we will use Kubernetes basically for deployments. I am not sure about the cloud provider. Uh, uh, probably it will be Azure by Microsoft, but we will see. And also for CI, uh, since it will be fully open source on GitHub, I will use Travis CI. Uh, um, I already use Travis CI. I will um, yeah, show in, in a few minutes because we already have uh, this repository. But later on, maybe we'll also have uh, Azure DevOps configuration for our CI CD, uh, because it's, it's, it is relatively new and some interesting technology. So I want to show some examples later, not now. Uh, that's technology stack. Uh, as I said, we will have more focus on technology stack, but since it's introduction video to the dev hub, I want to sh uh, show some goals. So first goal, is of course to build the application of projects that will be used by users so it will be really used and hence we can see the whole process of software development from planning uh, to the deployment and maybe some marketing stuff or promoting so users can find it and use it uh, and that's why yeah we have second goal which the uh, first goal is to build the actual project which will be deployed and used by users and show, second is show the whole development process and make it fully open source. And that's why we already have this uh, GitHub repository uh, with, with the initial ver version of the project. Uh, you can find uh, on readme read some information about the project. Uh, it is quite small, uh, will be updated by time. And also I have this wiki page. Uh, for now it's just information about the version. Uh, and some tasks that needs to be done. For this task, I have already I have uh, this um, task details, or in, in terms of GitHub, they called issues. And if you are interested, you can check them and maybe send me pull request if you did it. Uh, this one is already in progress, um, and hopefully in a few next few videos I will discuss implementation of this part. Uh, but we have some more items um, and you can see all of them by going to the GitHub repository issues and see this list. Uh, 
since it's in GitHub, I use also labels for marking them. For example, if it's a backend, it will be uh, marked as a backend. If it's a um, frontend, then it's a, it will be marked as frontend. And we also have kinds like it's bug or cleanup or future. And in all um, uh, tasks or issues, we will have these labels. Also for our first version, I have these milestones. Uh, milestone, uh, it's also a GitHub uh, uh, feature. And with version one, I have only two items yet, so I will add more. Uh, and one more item about the organization of GitHub part is if you go to the Coder Vloggers um, GitHub project, uh, you can see this projects tab. And in this tab, we have default. And in this, uh, it's Kanban board. So in this board, you can see which uh, items or which tasks or issues they are in to do, which issues they are in progress. That means that I'm someone or me in this case working on it. So this is a visual representation of our project. Um, some other stuff that we have uh, is, as I said, it's our basic project structure. And uh, for now, I have just the initial version of all these uh, all these parts. And basically, they are uh, backend, uh, which is Go language project, uh, default frontend web, which is our React project, and frontend mobile, which is our React native. For, for now, it's just Expo project, Impt Expo, Expo project, and you can find them in this uh, repository browser. Um, yeah, and you can see that for Go, it's just printing uh, dev up. Uh, for now, since we have this, um, uh, yeah, since we have this uh, task, uh, right now I'm working on the parsing of a JSON file. Uh, for more technical details of this project, I will post another article uh, uh, probably uh, uh, next day after this video. And in this article, you can find more technical details of, of this project. Um, and if we go back to the uh, presentation, so basically, uh, as I said, it will be fully open source. We will have we will use GitHub for all management stuff. And also there is some technical um, des uh, design or drawings for technical design. And I just want to sh uh, shortly show what we will have. Um, yeah, I used draw.io for this. Uh, while it's opening, I, I should say that for now it's not published uh, because in, in the pro it's in progress. But why when I have some uh, something that I can publish, it will be published also through the articles. And basically, uh, for now, I want to show just high level design of this project. So basically, DevHub is a project for uh, for programmers. And by using this project, you can see uh, different kind of articles. And by clicking on them, you can read these articles. Uh, for now, I have this simple UI design. So basically, when you open, you have a list of the articles. When you click on article, you get these details of the article. And these articles, they are uh, let's say uh, they are gathered from different sources and these sources may include engineering blogs or different social media websites and our application our backend will process this all these articles uh, and find some kind of uh, programming related keywords and by these keywords uh, this algorithm will index them so we can uh, later on we can make a search like google search uh, for articles uh, but as i said this part is in progress um, because i am um, trying to cover all layers uh, from architectural layer layer which will be uh, design of uh, let's say our database backend structure frontend structure but also some kind of um, high level view on, on different components of the project uh, and when it's ready, I will publish it part by part. Um, yeah, let's go back to the uh, slide. So for now, for DevHub, I think that's enough. Uh, with this video, my goal was to to uh, to present or or to introduce you a DevHub project. If you are interested, uh, as I said, please mark this repository as a start and watched. And by doing this, you will see all the updates related to the project on your GitHub account, so you can be in, in course of the updates. Uh, 
and if you have something to 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 give back, for example, in in, in form of comment or pull request, maybe you are free to do it. Uh, and for communication, if you want to discuss something, uh, this uh, presentation will be in the description of this video. So you can find me on Slack and Telegram and we can have discussion around this project. And for now, and for this DEFA project, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.